guys, how you doing? It's Henry and Mowers and Blowers. Welcome to another episode. If you guys missed the last episode on the Husqvarna 150BT backpack blower, it belonged to a friend of my uh, shooting buddy, Alan. He brought it over for his friend for me to troubleshoot. And then we figured out after a whole episode of troubleshooting that uh, this guy ran the machine without any oil in it. Uh, this is a two stroke as most backpack blowers are and you're required to put in 50 to 1 gas oil mix ratio. He just put regular gas in. Because of that, it had no lubrication for the piston and bore, and uh, so I suspect that either the bore or the piston and rings are completely scored and done. When my friend Alan came back to pick it up, he says, what do I owe you for the troubleshooting? And I'm like, he's my friend, so I always just ask for a couple of couple of boxes of 223 AR-15 ammunition and uh, he's like well how about this uh, my friend says he he doesn't want to spend the money to fix it which would probably cost about $200 250 something like that but it's quite a lot of work to replace the bore and the uh, piston and rings uh, it's a lot of labor involved you know I think the part itself is like $5,200 no, week exactly. off or something, I'll work with it. Yeah. The thing yeah. is, I don't like to buy parts to fix something. I want to. He says, "Why don't you just keep it as the payment?" And so I said, "Okay, you know, uh, we'll get to it eventually." And so, being this is now fall season, I figured we'd rip this apart and see exactly what we do need for sure. Whether it's just the piston and rings, or is it the entire bore and the piston and rings? So we're gonna take this apart and uh, figure that out. So this currently does not start. Um, we only got it started for like a second or so by simply um, pouring two stroke oil down the spark plug hole. And it burned, once it burned out, it lost the compression and stopped. Uh, I did pour ATF fluid down there and soaked it for a few days. Tried it, came out, tried it again, didn't start. Sort of wanted to there, but it still has um, some ATF remnants in it. So yeah, I think uh, there's just no compression due to the rings and the piston being scored badly. It's a common problem if you don't put oil in it. If it doesn't have any lubricity, it's not going to start sort of wanted to right there. Let's give it some throttle and see. Yep, just not enough um, compression for it to maintain combustion. So we're gonna take this cover off. Spark plug is here. I wanna just make, I wanna just see if, just removing this, you'll be able to, no, it looks like I have to take the whole thing off. It looks like this is one piece right there. We're gonna have to replace that when we put that back in eventually. Another one hiding under here. All right, finally, there's the cover off. It exposes the stuff here. To get right in there this is where the uh, these are the fins for cooling it the bore is right there piston crankshaft goes up here flywheels over here I don't think we need to remove the uh, recoil starter but let's start by taking these two screws off first spark plug
rounded edge on the outside. And looks like there's four torques in the bore. These are going to be hard to take out because of the heat over the years that this has been going on. All right, all four screws seems to be loose. It's still sitting in there, but. Got to break the seal to the gasket. I want to make sure nothing else is holding this up, you know. Now this is connected to the carburetor, so. Ooh, looks like it's moving. It's still not releasing though. Maybe we have to take the muffler off. We should take the muffler off anyway. Now these bolts are going to be hard to turn because the muffler is one of the hottest places. Yep, that's tough. Just it. Might have to get an impact for this. works. Not strong enough. Tried a couple impacts, stripped the bolt, put in some penetrating oil. Probably need to grab the vice grips. And I don't have the best vice grips either. It's too slippery. That's what she said. <laughs> One, <laughs> two more to go, and the angle for the bottom one is really tough. That's one. Yes, that's two. That's impossible to get to with the with that. Impossible. Can't even get in there. There's no way. Gas tank's in the way. Pivot this down. Aha! I just loosened it. It's still on one, right? You can bend that over like that. Check this out. Now it's loose. It is connected to the carburetor mechanism, but that's all right. Just lift this up and see.
know what? I'm gonna have to take the carburetor off. <laughs> I'm actually going to take this around if I don't lose where it is. Now this is all stuck together so I know how it went. Here we go. There's the bore. And it doesn't look terrible. There is a pretty good gouge right in there. Right there. It scored pretty bad. Not deep though. I I smooth. There's a little there's a little divot in there. I don't know if it's designed that way. Let's check out the piston. This side looks great. And boom! I'll get you guys to see this close up. So here's the bore. That looks okay. Until you get to right around there. See right there on the bottom there? It's like a divot there. Yeah, I got you in the sun now. That's the extent of the bore damage. See that chunk that's off? I can actually feel that with my hands. The rest of it is okay. But yeah, that that bore is pretty, pretty scored. It has to be smooth, like a baby's butt, you know? So yeah, fortunately I think we'd have to change this bore too. And here's the piston. That is trashed. Yeah, I can clearly feel it, especially over here at the top. Really deep. And as you can see, only a portion of the top ring is sticking out. Actually, it looks broken. Yeah, ring's broken. See how uneven the break is? Unless that, yep, yeah, that's where the hole was, see? Yeah, you got a busted ring and a badly scored piston. The rest of it is okay. It's supposed to be like that. But we have that. And a busted ring. All right. I guess I'm going to have to price out the kit. I'll let you know uh, what a piston and ring just costs. And we're going to do also so, uh, probably the bore too. So looking at the ring again, it's not busted. Um, that's just where the gap is and the circle over there is tells you where the gap is supposed to be There's just there's like a dot there, you know like a hole it tells you where the gap is supposed to be Same thing goes for this side here Same kind of gap and it's right where the hole is So the rings are good, but they are compressed inside so you won't come out Very damaged over here, too uh, this line here is very deep. Clearly feel it. I want to know whether or not uh, I could get away with not getting the bore. Because while I do feel it with my fingers, 
it is really low down there and on the top there is scoring too and i do feel it so i guess that would make a difference if you could feel it then you probably have to replace it problem is i think this uh the whole thing is probably 100 bucks i don't know if i would spend 100 bucks to fix this because how much would i get for this you know what i mean <laughs> i don't think i would get 100 bucks i mean you could but it's be tough it's used you know uh you can you can get a used husqvarna blower online for like you know 150 or something locally you know so to spend 50 100 bucks to fix it to get 100 bucks it doesn't really make any sense i have to think about it There he goes. So I was just relaxing and then uh, I got a text from a guy here locally, next town over, East Northport. And uh, he saw my listing on Facebook Marketplace for the um, chipper shredder craftsman that I just recently fixed. Henry, at Morris. area and as here is the uh car but five horsepower shredder is what depressed knob that would be a super easy fit I had it listed for 275 and he wrote down uh i'll give you 200 right now and so i said done and he seemed like a very logical non-nut kind of guy so i gave him my address not to mention the fact that the thing's heavy i didn't want to load it into sketchy with ramps then bring it back here if you didn't want it you know what i mean so i just said just come over and look at it so he came over looked at it i started up via time lapse as you saw and he gave me 200 dollars for it cash and I told him, if you don't like it, you can't bring it back. It's not like I'm Lowe's or Home Depot. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, yeah, I know. And uh, I told him, hey, if you, it doesn't work out for you, just put it back on Facebook Marketplace. You'll probably get 300 for it. <laughs> He's like, yeah, if I put it up there and you see it, you'll know that it didn't work out for me. Anyway, glad I got rid of it. 275 man. I picked that off the street. Free money, man. $200. So I did research uh, on eBay. That's where I buy all my stuff. Um, eBay, Amazon, same shit, you know, but uh, Amazon, I don't know, Amazon has less, less choices. So the piston and rings I saw, cheapest I saw was $25 with free shipping. With tax and everything, probably be like $28, $30 and wait a week to get it. So just change the piston and rings, it'd be good. Now, if I wanted the bore also, cheapest i saw was 75 dollars plus 15 shipping which makes it 90 plus taxes and shit 95 ish so 100 bucks right 100 bucks or 30 bucks how much would i get for this if i fixed it it's 399 retail for a brand new 150 bt you guys can look around and confirm with me but it is 399 for this blower so if I sold it used, could I get 200 for it? I don't really think so. <laughs> because people out there will buy this uh, online used for like 100, 150. Not many would pay $200 for this because $200, you could buy one of those cheap Chinese ones brand new for 200. 
So I'm reluctant to spend that kind of money to fix this, to maybe just get a profit of $20, 50 bucks out of it, you know? It's not worth it to me. So, but then what am I gonna do with this? You know what I mean? So would I spend $30, try to just change the piston only and try to get away with this little divot here and that maybe this won't affect it? It's a chance I have to take because I, I'm not gonna spend 50 bucks for this, you know? So I think I'm gonna maybe just buy the piston. That might be worth it for me to just, you know, I think it would work with just the piston. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. So I looked around on Amazon too. Amazon had more expensive prices. It was $86 plus $10 shipping for the whole kit. And I did see one that was $22 for the piston, which is probably what I'm gonna buy. Uh, what do you guys think? You think I can get away with just replacing the piston and leaving the bore? Because the bore is gonna add 50 bucks to the expense. You guys know I don't pay any money for the items that I get. I never pay for anything, but I'll buy parts. However, this part is relatively expensive if you compare it to what I normally buy for parts. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm reluctant. The whole channel is about getting shit for free and fixing it and getting money for it and at the same time having a video about it, you know? But if I go and spend money on it, it kind of takes away from the whole genre of the channel. Getting shit for free, making money off of free stuff, because your profit margin for free stuff is 100% or more, you know? Uh, but if I have to put money into it, for instance, if I bought the whole kit for 100 bucks, and I sell this for 150, what do I make out of it? 50 bucks? I'd have better luck making more money by picking a free lawnmower off the street, fixing it for nothing, selling it for 150, making a $150 profit, right? But if I got to invest a hundred bucks into a thing that's worth 150, it doesn't make any sense to me on this channel, okay? Maybe it might make sense to you guys to do all this work to make 50 bucks, but to me, it's not worth it. So I'm gonna just try to buy the piston alone. Hope I don't break the rings when I put them on. They should just come installed, you know what I mean? But anyway, for the interest of the channel, I'll spend the $25, $30 for the new piston. And then when I get it, we'll make another video on how to put it on. Leave your uh, comments down below, fellas. I'd like to hear your opinion about my logic and what you guys would do. Would you do what I said? Would you spend a hundred something to make 150? Uh, if you're lucky, maybe make 75 out of it or a hundred bucks out of it. So you'd have to sell this for like 200 or something to get a hundred dollar profit. Anyway, stay tuned for the, when the piston arrives, and we'll install the piston and see if it runs right. That way, at least it'll make a little bit more profit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. It allows me to continue to bring small engine content to you guys, just like this one. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.